who do I think is going to win? A lot of people saying that it's pretty much a collision course between Connecticut and the Aces. And I, I'm not I'm not one to say they're wrong. Uh, but I will say this. And this is why, now, I think it's a lot of pretty cliche when they was like, anyone has a chance to win. When we talk about, like, NFL or NBA or something. Because there's no way. Like, if you look at the NBA schedule, like, NBA playoffs last year, there was no way, in my opinion, that the Heat had a chance to beat the Bucks. Yeah, the the the, the Brooklyn Nets could have won, or the Bucks of who did ultimately win could have won, or Phoenix, or Philly could have won. But the whole there, anyone can win. That's 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 BS. Don't no. What I do like about the WNBA, especially this year's playoffs, is. I do think that you had everyone has a chance to win. And I say that because if you look at the matchups right now, at least after round one, I can see Sylvia Fowles is a is a future Hall of Famer who's one of the best WNBA players we've ever seen. Uh, Dangerfield, who even though she's short in stature, she can shoot the mess out the ball. Like the Minnesota Lynx have a chance to to make a move the 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 um the chicago sky you have i mean you have you have uh what kansas parker not only and and kansas parker been going crazy you have lexi brown like diamond to shields who probably has the best swag in the, in the, in the league. <laughs> it's just everyone has a chance. If you look over, you have uh the Seattle Seattle Storm, which is fourth. They're ranked fourth in the in the playoffs brackets or whatever. And they have Brianna Stewart, who is arguably the best WNBA player today. Jewel Lloyd, who who I think she had like 35 or something like that the other day. Brown or Sue Bird, who is legendary. Phoenix Mercury. Again, you have the big three. Skylar Diggins Smith. You have Diana Taurasi. Now she needs to get back from injury, but you have Diana Taurasi. You have Brittany Griner. And then of course Connecticut. You have who will probably be the 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 MVP in Jaquil Jones. You have Dewana Bonner, who I think is the WNBA version of KD, uh, with her her body frame and the fact that she can just light it up. And then the Vegas Aces, to me, have probably been one of the more complete teams in in the whole. But but you kind of expect that they've they've been the they, they've been pretty much the complete team. You have Asia Wilson, Liz Cambage, Chelsea Gray has been incredible. Um, Angel McCaltry, who came in the middle of the season uh, after coming back from injury, Kelsey Plum, who just won the three on three W or no three on three overseas tournament. They got they got pieces, man. J- Jackie Young. So it, I'll say that, I'll say, I'm gonna go with the Vegas Aces. I'm gonna go with the Vegas Aces because they're kind of peaking at the right time. They 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 were peaking coming into the season or coming into. I I mean, let me say this: the beginning of the season was kind of was kind of iffy. Of course, Lay Cambage, uh, she was coming. I think she had in the middle of the season. Uh, or before the stoppage, the whole COVID. I don't think she had COVID, but, you know, she didn't want to go overseas due to the COVID and that whole debacle with Australia. Kelsey Plum was not playing well, but she was coming off of an injury. And, of course, the whole stoppage due to Olympic stoppage or whatever they call it. But going into the playoffs, they're, 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 fire, they're clicking, in my opinion. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if – I'll say this. I will give three teams if if three te- if these three teams won, I wouldn't be surprised. Now I think everyone has a chance to win, but Seattle, I mean, reigning reigning champions, they, even though they're fourth, they're the reigning champions. You have the best player in basketball, in my opinion, in Brianna Stewart when she is hooping. Um, Connecticut, they're the number one overall seed. They've been killing. Jaquel Jones more than likely will win the WNBA uh, MVP. Dewana Bonner, like you, that that's a team. Not to mention, that's a great three-point shooting team, as well as the Chicago Sky. But 
But I think that because you have Las Vegas Aces, they're they're firing all cylinders. Aja Wilson has had yet another incredible year. I just I'm gonna give it to the the Las Vegas Aces. I just think that they they have all the they're they're firing on all cylinders right now, and I think that uh, they could lose. But I, I just think that they're they they're peaked at the right po- at the right time, right before the playoffs and going into it. Not to mention they don't have to play; they're gonna be fresh. Now that is that is you can that that could be a backfire as far as they don't play until the semifinals because they they uh, were awarded what two two round buys because they were the second seed. They don't play until the the semifinals, which is a best of five series. Now, that could work. There there's there's pros and cons. There's advantages and disadvantages to both. The advantage is of course, you're fresh. You don't even have to play nobody. All you have to do is hone in on whoever you got to hone in for what, three games, you're good. Like you ain't got to worry about you ain't got to worry about nutrition cuz you're fresh. On top, but the disadvantage is you're playing a team that could very well. I mean, say they play the, they could play the 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 Minnesota Lynx. They could play whoever the higher seed, whoever wins in the higher seed in round two, they'll play. So they could very well play a, a team that just did a single elimination in round one, just did a single elimination in round two, and now playing them, and now they're hot. They have all the momentum. They could be playing a team in I don't know Seattle or something where they come down. They're there. They just were in a single game elimination. They have a game under their belt. They're more like, let's get it. And then they end up, they, they have the momentum. So it was a disadvantage advantage and disadvantage for both. Um, I'm excited to watch. I, again, I love basketball. So, uh, you know, people that say they love basketball, but only watch the NBA or college, college basketball. I don't really think you love basketball. I think you love the NBA or love college basketball, but I love it all. So I'm excited to see what happens um, in the WNBA, man. I'm excited. I'm excited. This is the playoffs. This is the playoffs. So hey, let's let's get it. Let's get it. I think the the round two starts tomorrow. The first game is Seattle and Phoenix. I think that's at three o'clock on ABC. And the Minnesota Lynx and Chicago Sky. That's at five o'clock on ESPN two. So. I'm excited. 